Hi, everybody. So as you can see, I don't have my red screen behind me. I'm actually in the middle of doing some other things for you that I'm going to be releasing soon. But I wanted to take a moment to pause and to post because uh, a lot has is going on in the world. And I felt really moved last night to make this video. And uh, so I just want to have a conversation with you all. I want to acknowledge the tragic event that has shaken the entertainment world. Twitch, Ellen DeGeneres' longtime DJ, um, took his life a few days ago. I think when a talented father of three and husband takes his life so violently, there's something that I think shakes us all to the core. Now I've seen probably a handful of videos sharing their condolences to the family and speaking up about suicide, etc. And I want to honor that and honor his family by also sharing my deepest sympathies. But since my channel got its footing in regards to giving advice on men and how we can all learn about men and the men here can have a safe place to be exactly who they are, I wanted to dedicate a video to all the men who didn't make it to national television, the men who took their own lives and just silently disappeared into a newspaper obituary somewhere. Those are the men that I want to talk about today. Because suicide is predominantly a male issue. And as a woman, this is where we get to show our support to men. This is where we unite in a common goal. We put down our shields. And I don't care if you're red-pilled, blue-pilled, white-pilled, feminist, whatever bullshit ideology that you belong to, this is not the day. So approximately 30,000 people commit suicide each year and 80% are men. Overall, males take their own life at rates four times higher than females. And in certain age groups, men are even more vulnerable. The suicide rate for those between the ages of 20 and 24 is 5.4 times higher. In older groups, suicide is even more of a male problem. After retirement, the suicide rate skyrockets for men, but not for women. Between the ages of 65 to 74, the rate is 6.3 times higher. 75 to 84 is seven times higher. And if you're above 85, it is nearly 18 times higher for men. Dr. Thomas Joyner wrote a book called The Myths About Suicide and has spent his life dedicating himself to understanding why people feel like this is the only option for them. According to his theory, the key motivator is the development of a pervasive sense of hopelessness. And although we know that to be a cause, it's too vague for useful predictive uh, patterns to pull out. So he wanted to dig in and find more information so he could narrow down three key motivational aspects which contribute to suicide. One is a sense of not belonging or being alone. Two, a sense of not contributing or feeling like you're a burden. And three is the capability of doing the act and not being afraid to take your own life. All three of these must be met in order for someone to commit suicide. So this is affecting our men so much and this is why we should care. I mean, men are criticized for being weak. We don't do a good job in holding space for them. We think that somehow they are supposed to be subhuman, to work themselves to death. Some of them have even shared with me that they don't even feel safe going to their male friends. I see it in my comment section. You call your brothers simps. Man up, bros. Stop being a pussy. How is that helping your brothers? How is that lifting up your fellow men to battle the so-called matrix? I'm sorry, but that's hypocrisy. There has to be some sort of healthy balance of giving men a space to feel that they can be weak and that they'll be safe to be held. One of my greatest honors as a sister was when my brother was going through a divorce and he would spend hours on the phone with me, just being raw and vulnerable and just sharing his pain and his sadness and disappointment. And all I had to do was say, I got you, you're not alone. And that's all I had to say. 
Some people think that if someone gets to that point that there's nothing that they can say or do to prevent it. But through different research, they have found that suicide intention, in fact, is transient. If we can disrupt one of the three key risk factors that maybe that person stands a chance. There was a man that jumped off of the Golden Gate Bridge and he left a note before he plunged to his death. And it read, if one person smiles at me, I won't kill myself. And guess what happened? We all bear responsibility with the little actions that you take every day that might impact someone and, and make them feel less disconnected or disrespected or useless. To those who are feeling heavy today, please drop a comment below and tell us how you need support. I will personally read every comment on this video and if it's not supportive or kind, you will get blocked and deleted from this channel. I want to create a community that is supportive, not only of men, but for us to understand each other. But right now, for me and this video and this moment, this is not a time for us women to be selfish. This is not a time for us to put the spotlight on us. This is a time to mourn the many men who felt that they had no other option than this. So I hope that you take a moment to really think about how your actions and, and what we can do as a, as a society, because having someone at 40 years old take their own life because they felt like they didn't have any other options is just not okay. So once again, I honor the men who went quietly into the night. This was for you.